All right, so welcome to the Essential Blends class. I am Holly, if I haven't met you or don't know you well yet. I am a certified personal trainer, a holistic nutritionist, and a doTERRA wellness advocate. I am basically about all things holistic health, nutrition, living, which is why I like to share about doTERRA because it is one way that you can improve your health, ways that you can take care of your home, ways you can exchange toxic products for natural ones, and <clears throat> improve your overall health and well-being through natural awesome products. So this class is going to be all about how to basically take the oils that you have and blend them together. This is going to be a good class for people who maybe are just kind of getting into essential oils and maybe you have the basics like lavender and lemon and peppermint, but you just kind of use them separately. Or this would be great too for people who are a little bit maybe more experienced with essential oils, but maybe haven't done a ton of blending or just want to learn a couple of new blends to use around the house for kind of day-to-day -day issues, health things, just things that come up for almost all of us in daily life that we could use a little bit of support for. Um, so if you have a lot of the basic oils, this class is kind of geared towards people who maybe bought a starter kit or have just started with a lot of the common oils that people like, um, such as lavender, peppermint, some of those things. So there are a few unique oils in here in different blends, um, but I'm really trying to kind of gear it towards people that maybe don't have every oil in their house. Um, I know I can sometimes look at blends and go, oh, I don't even have four of those oils and half of them, you know, cost close to a hundred bucks or whatever it is. So trying to keep it really simple and basic in this class. So things that'll help you in daily life, but without needing a ton of oils in your house. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, and then give me one second so I can present to you. So you actually have something to look at. Now, what I'm gonna be showing you right now is the PDF that you get when you attend this class. So I have put all of the notes, everything I'm gonna talk about into this PDF for you. So you don't even have to take notes on all these. You don't need to scramble to write down every blend. It's right here for you. So this is the Essential Blends PDF that we're going to be going through. And one thing I want you to keep in mind as we start to roll through these blends is everything here I've laid out in a roller version and a diffuser version because I know it's helpful to have both options. Um, and maybe some people don't like to diffuse so much or some people don't really use rollers. So I've put both types of blends in here. They're all pretty much the same oils, but typically when you're using a diffuser, you're going to use less oils because you're just using it for maybe a couple hours or part of a day. Whereas the roller, you need a stronger consistency because you're going to be using that same roller for probably months to come. Sorry, let one quick sip of water. And then what I want you to keep in mind too is that with all of these blends, you can play with them and make them yours. So everyone's gonna react a little bit differently. Everyone's gonna like certain oils more than another. Some people are gonna be overwhelmed by a few drops of certain oil and some people are gonna love that. So this is a general guideline of kind of the approximate amount of oils I like to use and that are pretty gentle without being overwhelming. But feel free to experiment. You might need to start with a lower amount of oils and increase, um, or this might not be enough for you. We wanted a little bit stronger smell or more potency in your roller, and you can add to that. So these aren't set in stone. Feel free to experiment, try them out, see what works for you. But what's always good to do is start at the lowest effective dose, if you will, and then build on that. So start with less oils, less is always more with essential oils. And then if that's not quite giving you the results you want, or even just the smell, the aroma that you want in your home, then you can add more to it. The other thing to keep in mind is that when I'm talking about all of these roller blends, I'm referring to this type of roller. So a 10 ml roller, this is the standard size of roller that you would be using. So when I'm giving you the roller recipes in here, 
this is what it's for. So what you will do is put all of your drops of oil in here and then fill the rest up with something like fractionated coconut oil or whatever carrier oil that you like and prefer. Um, so put the drops in first, because sometimes if you fill it up with oil first, you'll accidentally feel too high. And then when you add in your oils, you've got a mess going on. So start with the oils first, then add in your carrier oil. Fractionated coconut oil is one of my favorites because it's very light. It goes on very smoothly. It's not overly thick or greasy. Um, there's no smell to it or anything. So it works really well. So this is what I'm talking about with a roller. You can always use like a 5 ml roller. I have those too. Um, like this type of size that I actually have a dropper bottle in. So you just half the recipe, basically. Um, okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with some basic health things a lot of us deal with. So seasonal support. So this is things like sneezing, itching eyes, things that come up when, you know, especially the spring and the summer, flowers blooming and pollen in the air and all types of things. So to help support you with seasonal issues, what you can do is mix lavender, lemon, and peppermint. This is a great blend for addressing those issues and helping you with that. I also think it's just a really nice blend to diffuse. I put it on, I think, a few weeks ago for uh, helping with sneezing and sniffling and things. And then realize I just love the way that it smells. It's a nice one, I think, to start the day. It's very bright and fresh. It's a good re-energizer, too, in the afternoon. Um, so this is good for all the time, but it's really good for those issues when you're dealing with um, seasonal stuff. So what you would do in the roller, <clears throat> four drops of lavender, four drops of lemon, four drops of peppermint. So it's just equal across the board. What you'll do in a diffuser is probably about half that. Now, a note with diffusers, kind of like rollers, is they're going to vary. So again, you're going to have to experiment with this. <clears throat> I have all different size diffusers at home. Like I have this one back here that holds a pretty good amount of water. I want to say maybe like 30 ml. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have others that hold maybe half the amount of water or less. I also have a portable diffuser. So every diffuser is going to require different amounts of drops because if it holds a lot of water, you're going to have to add more drops in there or you can just fill your diffuser up halfway. So this is a very general amount in all of these for how much you should use in your diffuser, but it's really gonna depend on what size diffuser you have and how much water is in there, as well as what the size of your space is. So like right now I'm in my office, it's a pretty small area. So I don't diffuse a lot of oils because it gets very overwhelming in here. Whereas if I diffuse oils in our kitchen and living area, it's very big. I have two diffusers down there and I put a lot of oils in so that it can actually fill up and permeate the room. So again, it's going to depend on your space. It's going to depend on the size of your diffuser. Okay, so let's move on to head tension. Um, so any type of neck, head tension, achiness, what you can do is mix peppermint, lavender, and frankincense. Now, these three actually, each of them on their own helps with head tension issues. So you can use them individually. Like I said, if you don't, maybe you don't have some of these oils, you can just use one. I actually love peppermint all by itself. I use it on its own and that is good for me. Um, some people lavender works really well for and frankincense generally is good for um, people with migraines like to use it. It's very good for really any kind of tension. So it's by mixing the three of these, you're really getting like a powerhouse blend. You're taking three that already are effective for this issue and pulling them together to make them even stronger. Um, so again, you could do each of these individually if you want, or you can blend them all together. Um, for the immune booster, our next one, you're going to blend on guard, which is actually a doTERRA blend already. So we're basically making a blend with a blend um, because this is amazing for immune boosting. You can use this on its own. This is kind of your non-DIY oil to use. It has um, wild orange, clove, cinnamon, leaf cinnamon, bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. So this is a really good one. It's called the protective blend. So this is good for diffusing to helping to clear out the air, get rid of germies flying around. This is good to um, put on the bottoms of your feet. You can even take this internally. So this one's great on its own. But again, if you kind of want to turn it into a really 
powerhouse blend, like an extra boost, maybe for a time when you know you're feeling run down and sickness could be on the verge, or maybe you're about to travel or you came home from traveling or you've been really stressed out or your kids are sick or something um, and you really need as much potency as you can get. Uh, or you just like the smell better, then what I really like to do is this plus frankincense plus lemon. So we're doing five drops of On Guard, five drops of lemon, and two drops of frankincense. Um, again, you can play with this. You can add more frankincense in there, which will definitely help because this is a very protective, um, helps to take care of your body on a cellular level and support your immunity, frankincense. Um, so you can feel free to add more drops of that in there if you like the smell. Um, and then lemon just kind of is in that same boat of helping to clear the air, um, help to fight off bacteria and things like that. So all of those put together is a really powerful blend. So again, you can put it in a roller or put it in the diffuser and just diffuse it throughout the day. Um, with pretty much all these things, putting the oil on your body is going to have a more potent effect than just diffusing. So kind of keep that in mind too, when you're maybe in a situation, like maybe if you're just trying to protect your health and prevent sickness, diffusing might be good um, with something like the immune, immune booster blend. But say you are getting sick or you just got sick, then I would say you go ahead and diffuse, but you might really want to go ahead and put it in a roller and rub it on your feet, rub it on the back of your neck and help it to actually get into your body a little bit more that way. So it has a more potent effect. Okay, then we're going to move on to energy and emotions. So starting with the stress and anxiety, what you can do is blend lavender, Roman chamomile, vetiver, bergamot, and ylang-ylang. Again, all of these oils on their own are very calming, very relaxing, very good for stress and anxiety. So you can use these individually, but blending at least a few of them can really kind of take it up to the next level and give a little bit extra relief from some of these issues. And I know some of these are a little bit more rare. A lot of people aren't going to have Roman chamomile around the house. It's a little bit more expensive oil. Vetiver might be less common. Um, I would suggest at some point try to get all these oils because they're amazing. Um, but if you don't have all of these, don't let that prevent you from making a roller. If all you have is lavender, vetiver, and bergamot, then go ahead and use those. Um, you don't necessarily have to have every single oil. It's just going to make it that much more potent. Um, and again, some of these oils you might not love the smell of too. So if you want to omit one for that reason, that's fine. Um, keep in mind that vetiver, if you're putting these together, vetiver is a very strong smell. So I typically stick to one drop. In a roller, you might be able to do more, but start with one, see how you like the blend. So put all your oils in, smell it, maybe add a little coconut oil at first and just see how you like the smell. Then you can adjust from there if needed. But if you put in too many drops, you can't go back. So always start with less and then kind of test it out, see how you like it, and then add more if you want a little bit different smell. Um, and then in the diffuser, same thing. It's just going to be about half the amount of what you would put in the roller. And then the non-DIY for this would be our adaptive blend, a doTERRA adaptive blend, which is the calming blend. This has a bunch of great oils in it and some that are a little bit harder to find or a little on the pricier end if you don't have a huge budget for oils. Um, so things like neroli or sweet gum are in here. Um, and then some other common ones like orange, lavender, copaiba, spearmint. So this, I love this blend. I'm currently a little obsessed with this and I'm not even super like stressed or anxious or anything, but I just love the smell of it. I love it um, really any time of the day. I like it in the evening, but it's kind of a good afternoon when you're maybe getting a little overwhelmed with things. Um, so this is a really good, if you don't want to make your own, this is a good non-DIY calming blend that's very good for stress and anxiety and high emotions. Okay, our energy boost blend is going to be peppermint, orange, and basil. Basil is optional. It is very good for energizing, but maybe you don't love the smell of it. Um, it has a little bit of a more herbaceous smell. So peppermint and orange by themselves are amazing, but you can add in a little bit of basil to get a little extra boost. 
Um, so about six to 10 drops of peppermint, four to five of orange, one to two of basil, if you choose to use that. And then the diffuser would just be about half the amount of that. Um, I didn't write basil in the diffuser one, but it's implied that it's there because it's optional. So feel free to add that in if you like. And then for sleep, um, what we're gonna do is lavender, cedarwood, vetiver, and orange. Again, all of these are calming and relaxing on their own and do help with getting to sleep and staying asleep, but putting them together makes for a really good blend and smells amazing. So four lavender, two cedarwood, one to two vetiver, and two to three orange. Um, orange and citrus oils are actually kind of they're kind of adaptogenic, like some herbs. So if you, they're both energized, it can be energizing when you need it and it can be calming when you need it. So it works both ways. So it's actually a great oil for the morning and the evening. Um, but again, experiment with those. I have a ruler like this, but I don't have orange in it. I have sandalwood in it instead. Um, so see kind of what you like. If you like that citrusy smell in the evening or you prefer something a little bit more earthy kind of smelling. And then the diffuser, again, just half the amount of the oils. Okay, and then our last slide is skincare. So our first one is the Anti-Aging Skin Soothing Serum, which is quite a long name, but I put it together that way because this serum or this blend works really well for anti-aging and it works really well for soothing skin issues. So maybe redness, maybe some sort of like rash or itchiness, um, maybe you have a little cut or something happened and it's healing and you need, you want to kind of speed up the wound care, um, help to keep bacteria out, protect it, all those types of things. This does that too. So you can simply put it on your skin to help with anti-aging or you can use it to soothe skin issues. So I like having something like this around all the time so I can use it either way. Um, it's great for skin, but it's kind of like a first aid roller. So this one has geranium lavender, frankincense, and then if you like, tea tree oil. And then I would top it off with rosehip oil or maybe jojoba. Fractionated coconut oil works just fine, but um, rosehip oil and jojoba oil are even better for the skin. They have really good properties for taking care of the skin. So I like to put that in there since we're already using oils for the skin to use something that's a little bit more beneficial for um, your skin. And then the tea tree is optional because one, the smell isn't, I don't think the greatest. I don't love having that smell in my oils, um, but it's really good for oily skin. It's good for acne. It's antibacterial. So if you, in something like a first aid roller, I would definitely put tea tree. So if you're going for like a skin soothing type of thing, then I would put tea tree. If you're using it more anti-aging and maybe you're not, maybe you're already dry, maybe you don't really have much acne, then you might want to skip the tea tree. So play with that, see what you like. Um, but that is a really good one to have in general, unless you just hate the smell of it. And then um, a dropper. So I put dropper, not a diffuser. So kind of like I showed you, what I've done is gotten some of these little dropper lids like this and put them on a 5 ml bottle. So when an oil runs out, I'll, this is this is not an oil, this doesn't have oil in it, it was just an empty bottle, but five mil is like this size. So I'll clean it out and then I'll take off the top and just put a little dropper bottle on there. So I personally like this for skincare because I don't necessarily love taking a roller and having to spend all this time rolling it all over my face. I'd rather just use it like a serum, take a couple drops, squeeze it in my hand, and then just be able to put it on kind of like a moisturizer or a serum. Um, so you have either option. You can do a roller if you like that, or you can do a dropper. You make them the exact same way. It's just the lid is different. Um, and I halved the amount for a 5 ml dropper. But if you're using a bigger dropper bottle, you can do the same amount as a roller. Or sometimes like if you just use an old, maybe like tincture bottle you had, you might need to triple um, the, the amount. So it just depends on the bottle, but this would be for a 5 ml dropper. And then our last one is for a bug bite roller. So great for the summer, um, taking care of the skin. So this one is going to be five frankincense, seven lavender, five tea tree, and five purify. Purify is another blend from doTERRA. And this one is really good for kind of helping with getting the sting out after like a bug bite or sting. So you can put purify on by itself. 
frankincense, lavender, and tea tree are all very good for, again, skin soothing type of things. So those are kind of like your first aid oils kind of. Um, so blended together, those work really good to take care of your skin, help promote healing, um, keep it protected. So if you blend all of those with Purify, it's really good for bug bite, bug bites. Um, but if you don't have Purify, you can do the others. That's fine too. Or if you want to just get Purify and not even make your own roller, you can just use Purify actually after a bug bite or sting of some sort, and that will help to take out the sting as well. So again, feel free to blend these as you like um, and according to whatever smell you like also. So that is pretty much it. Just some really basic blends. These are ones that I use some of them daily, some of them at least multiple times a week. Um, so I love to have these ones on hand just to deal with all these issues. When something comes up, you just have a roller or a diffuser blend ready to go. You don't ever have to think about it. So I would suggest start trying these at home. Start putting them into the diffuser, see how they smell, see how they make you feel. And the more you do them, then you'll get used to it. So then the next time you have a headache or you feel tired, it's just automatic to go, oh, I should go put some peppermint and orange in my diffuser. I should grab my roller, um, my head hurts, and just put that on when you're dealing with tension. So um, go ahead and experiment with these. And then I have a couple of notes here for you too. As I already mentioned, these notes are based on a 10 ml roller and diffuser size and amounts of oils will vary depending on what you have at home. Any roller should be filled with something like fractionated coconut oil, avocado oil, rosehip, or a carrier oil that you like after the essential oil has been added. So that is pretty much it. That's all of our essential, essential blends for today. Um, and so after this, I will send out the PDFs to those of you who attended so that you have these on hand to use. You can print it out, keep it in your kitchen or your bathroom, wherever you spend a lot of time, or wherever your rollers are, so you can easily reference it. So you go back to when you need a solution for whatever's going on. So I hope this is helpful to you. Um, thanks again for being here. Take care, and I will see you in our next ongoing education class.